guys, this is my friends, Pat and Violi, and Violi and I are heading to the farmer's market. We're going to grab some lunch, and we're going to film that for you today. All right, guys, so we're going to go ahead and buy some herbs today, and what we're getting is... Garlic scapes. We're getting garlic scapes, and we're going to spend about $10 doing this, and we're going to use it in a great recipe tonight. It looks like there are a lot of great recipes here. We might try those. Keto in the kitchen with Jasmine. Okay, guys, so we stopped at Ingalls, and we're going to go ahead and... We're gonna try some of their soup bar and possibly their wing bar, their salad bar, and their olive bar, which looks really good. So that's what we're going to do is we're going to have lunch before we get started with our recipe. And here's V, and we're just gonna shop around. So V has um, sushi, and we have some kind of Japanese green tea drinks that we're gonna try. It's actually sugar-free, and I have a salad. We're going to enjoy this today. We will we will check it uh, when she get out. Then that's the one is ready to get it. That's to, that's the signal. This is our mat. This is my herb, uh, base uh, thyme, and then Thai mint. And everything, strawberry, squash, and we have pigs. These are different kinds of squash. We have butternut, yellow, and zucchini. And we have a strawberry, and mint, another part, and then another strawberry. So this is the one part. If we're farming, from, you can stir fry it or fry it. Like uh, vegetable tempura. Mm. That's the one because uh, it, I think the per we need fertilizer, so I fertilized it this morning. Oh wow! So I don't know. It will do. And here, the first year uh, during winter, so I'm we planted. I planted a potato in here right now, and a taro root from the Philippines, and this is a good vegetable. Awesome, you guys. Yeah. And we have sweet potato. Also. Ooh, it looks like aloe. Yeah. We have aloe vera. And this is my lemon trees. Oh, wow. And a lot of onions and herbs in there. And catnip for our cats. And this, this, is, neat. this is our greenhouse. We, got, we have green beans, peppers, a lot of lettuce, and a, a cabbage. And kale and a lot of kale parsley we have uh, rosemary those are the ones we need and um, sage yeah. mm. and it looks like beetroot too yeah and a lot of lettuce and i mean it to eat right now <laughs> this is wonderful and, yeah and green beans <laughs> we need to pick it up almost huh? all right now we're here That's a butterfly bush. That's a, I have a lot of butterfly in there that goes down there. You do? That's yeah. so cool. Where the brewery, I bought it from brewery. That bucket that they brew beer mm -hmm. is only two bucks. So I bought some, but I wish I bought a lot because this is mostly clay. Oh, and yeah. Then, yeah, and then there's a tomato in there and the strawberry again. That's another part of my garden because these are all clay. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, so this is her art studio, and this is really, really cool. Really cool. I mean, her husband, Pat. He made this for her. Oh my gosh, it has a second level. Who knew? Mm -hmm. That is cool. Mm -hmm. So, this is my one I'm working on okay. right now, but it doesn't finish yet. And then I'm working on that. My friend came over, uh, Tanya, is a, I met her in a dental. And then he, he finished, she finished her because uh, she has a smaller portion only, her uh, cheek. Uh, beads is small, but mine is bigger, so I have on, I have need to finish two more beads in order to make my wind chime, uh, horseshoe wind chime, which is a good luck. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I did. And these are all my art that I made. 
Some, wow, look some, at that. Some only. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. Look at all your media. Uh, yeah. Oh, uh, uh, freedom, America. Yeah, that's for my military good. This is all my... And everyone who doesn't know, um, V spent 16 years in the military. She and her husband were our military veterans. Thank you for your service. And this is really cool. Look at that. That is really, really great. And let's look at this one down here. Did you do that one? Yes. That's cool. Yeah. That's really wonderful. Store, but we email it down. This one is from pallets. Also, the one they are throwing it away. Yeah. Yeah. And, and that one, you know, for July 4th, that's your decoration. Yeah, something like that. And this is also our lives, and yeah. this is America's life, is our military. Yeah. This is only uh, already few because already uh, a lot of it are gone already. All right, guys, so what we're going to do, sorry about the lighting, but it's, it, it is a natural lighting. It's gorgeous in here. So what we're going to do is I'm going to make a pot roast. And what I'm going to do is cut up the potatoes, the onions, and the carrots for that. And this is what the potato and the carrot and the onion looks like. We're putting it in a large pot. And this is what it looks like chopped up. Okay, so while V and I were down at the farmer's market today, I went in ahead and I bought uh, some of the garlic scapes is what they're called. This is from Carith House Farms is what it is. And it's really neat because um, the owner of Carith House, what she's doing is building a winery, a gift house, and also greenhouse and a, uh, everything else to go along on her property. So it's gonna be really cool when it's up and going. Um, so I did buy something from her to help out the cause. So we are going to use this in the pot roast. Okay, so there's a shot of the pot roast with the garlic scapes that are inside. And now we're just going to use a little bit of red wine and we're going to use some soy sauce, salt, and pepper. I already put some chicken broth in the pot roast, which actually was already cooked. And um, so that's gonna be really easy for us to make. All we have to really do is do let it soak in there for a while. And then we're going to, we're not gonna put any salt because you have the soy sauce, which if you put use salt in it, it would be too much salt. So it would be too salty for that. Um, so you'll see the process. All right, so as you can see, guys, there's some video of the pot. It's on high right now. When it starts to boil, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it down to a simmer so that it cooks slowly because the meat is already cooked. All I need to do is just simmer the vegetables and cook the vegetables. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a dish and actually V is going to do the dish. And what the dish is, is fried zucchini and yellow squash flowers. She's not actually gonna use flour but what she's going to use is eggs, so it is keto. And this is going to be a nice rendition to our recipe for today. This is the one we pick up every morning uh, from our garden, it's a squash. We remove, you remove all those stuff in here that are uh, covering this stuff and remove the inside this one to, to make uh, that taste bitter and then you wash it off. This is already clean that I made. And then that's when we're gonna do a uh, deep frying. It's uh, I put egg and salt and pepper. That's for our dinner later. I bring a seasoning in here.
gonna mix it up. All right, and the other side. That's it. So what B did is she just went ahead and sprinkled the flowers with a little bit of garlic salt and also pepper. What she's going to do now is add some farm fresh eggs and I'll show you that. start first and then the same process as everything else you know you just uh, be coated with eggs and uh, back and forth you know and, and put it in a fryer that's it it's like frying an egg uh -huh. there you can put it up like that I'm gonna hit that oil until uh, it's it's really hot and then we're gonna have to fry it Mm -hmm. We need uh, salt. I knew you were going to say that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we need, okay. Um, I will do that. Let yeah. me. Put some a little pepper also. And after that, that's good. You want uh, salt. Okay. There you go. This is what the sea salt. You want sea salt? Mm -hmm. Yes, please. All right. Okay. And yeah. I'll give her that. Okay. And then. I'm going to have you taste that again if you don't care. No, you stir it up first, correct? Right? Yep. But it's really good. I mean, it's different flavor. You like it? Mm -hmm. I'm glad you like it. Oh my God, I'm so happy. Okay. Because there's a lot of uh, herbs in here that are really good. Yeah, rosemary, yeah. thyme. Yeah. And wine. Mm-hmm. A little more salt. More salt. Yeah. Okay. See, that's my problem. I don't salt things enough because yeah. I'm afraid like the users yeah. are gonna be like, I don't like that much salt. No, yes. Tell them. That's American thing. You you put your salt on the table so that uh, when it's not enough, they're gonna put it in. Right. That's correct. Yeah, exactly. And so that's why I do it that way because I'm like, listen. Okay, this will be enough for for us because. Uh, Wait a minute. I just want you to taste again. I'm adding this mm -hmm. and. But it's really, really tastes different from, from the people that uh, are doing it. You know, like uh, cooking like this. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's it's just really good. Thank you. Uh huh. Mm. Good. Oh yeah. Great. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I am so happy. Okay, so I had B do a taste test. And it was, she determined that it needed more salt and pepper, and I added more salt and pepper to it. I want you guys to adjust to your liking, but it, she says it is really, really delicious. It's better with more salt, and you guys know me. I don't add a lot of salt because I let you guys add your own. And so I think it's going to be really good. I'm so excited to have V and Pat try it and to try the deep fried flowers. Mm, can't wait. Okay, so what she's going to do now is she's going to pan fry it. So she's going to deep fry it and put it in the pan and fry it a little bit. And I'll show you that process also. So what you want to do is make sure that your pan is really hot. The oil is hot before you start frying. And V just said a great cooking tip is to add salt to the oil so that it doesn't splatter. Isn't that an amazing tip? Thank you, V.
Okay, so that concludes our show today. I hope you guys have enjoyed this recipe. Thanks for stopping by.